What's up everybody? Well, I got another Azu G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna have a quick look at Frontier Hunter. Now I already did this on the Steam Deck and it was able to almost hit 60 maxed out all the time. A couple times it dropped down like 54 or something like that, but I'm willing to bet that this computer can play it no problem. Maxed out and hit 60 all the time. So only one way to find out. Let's hop in and have a look. Now this game's so easy to run after seeing how it ran on the Steam Deck. We're not even gonna bother with 1440. I mean, if it'll run at 1080p at 60 the whole time, it'll do 1440p too. So I don't want to waste too much time on the game but it also does support ultra wide so i am going to try it out on the secondary computer too and the primary computer we'll just do it on everything we'll just skip 1440p just because it just seems a little redundant game like this if it runs at all you know on the azu shifting advantage it'll probably run literally at every resolution it could probably do ultra wide and 4k too so if anybody wants to see me do those two just let me know of course don't mind at all but anyway let's not waste any more time and let's go get this thing hooked on up to the capture computer and go get a little gameplay all right now let's see how this azu shi 15 advantage handles this game we're just going to play at the same settings as we did on the steam deck only thing is we're up in the rest at 1080p and then we'll do 1440 i've decided afterwards then we'll move on to the desktops but anyway we got to the end of the short amount of settings so let's go hop into the game now well, all right here we go still can't go in there yet Let's see here if I can remember what we were doing. I think I'm looking for... No, I don't think I got the bird quest yet. Did I? No, not yet. I think I'd see it in the bottom right corner if that was the case. There's an egg. I didn't pick that up last time. Or this time. How blind am I? Do I go? I always get so lost in these games, even with maps and all that stuff. Oh, shoved my head into a wall there for a second. Oops. Oh, I got kind of caught there. That was a little bit of a bug, but whatever. Where are they accessing all that good stuff? What is this? Serious creature in the acid fog area. Okay. Duly noted. Alright, well, let's climb down here now. Might be where we're supposed to go. Who knows? Nope, I've already been down here. I already picked up everything in this room that I can see. All right, then back up the ladder we go, because it doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go. Oh, wait, nope, there's a door over here. Cool. I didn't go over here last time. And now I got some leather armor. All right, let's equip all that stuff. I think I forgot to do that last time. I got some armor and an accessory from last time, I think. All right, leather armor, and yep, a guardian ring. Fuck yeah. We're getting all decked out now. So I guess let's go back on up here now. Continue our search for the correct way. Another maniac. Oh, I hear a train going by. Hmm. And 
National Geographic. A masterpiece. Still, though, it's running pretty good. There seems to be a random stutter every now and again, but I, that seems to happen with AMD, I've noticed a lot. And also with Intel. Not Intel, but uh, NVIDIA, where if you if they're not maxed out and they're just kind of chilling at like 800 megahertz, 1,000 gigahertz or something like that, they, they tend to like be a little bit more stuttering the frame time. Personally, I would rather it just be maxed out all the time. I don't care about wasted electricity. But as we've seen with the Steam Deck anyway, just maxing it out doesn't seem to uh, like help for frame rate, but I think it would smooth out the frame times because it wouldn't have to sit there and go between like 500 megahertz and 700 megahertz and all that shit trying to figure out what it needs to hit that 60 FPS. It's only at 60% GPU, so it's not like we're even using all of it here. Not much CPU either. I think I've already been up here. I'm starting to damn lose track of everywhere I've been. This is not good. I'm lost on my own ship. How big is this blasted thing, anyway? There we go. We'll just take ourselves a nice hit. And then I think we'll save real quick and then move on to camera as well. All right, guys, let's get a little more camera gameplay here. And I have now noticed that the game limits it to the refresh rate of your monitor, no matter what you do. So that's why we're getting more FPS now. So since my capture card's 60 FPS max, That's all it can do. Well, actually, I think it can do, if I did 1080p, it could do 120, but I'd rather have higher resolution and have it limited to 60. So that's why I do that. I just record in 4K. So, hey, anyway, why don't we run around and try to find this last damn bird? I feel like I've been fucking everywhere, though. I must find the bird. jump over there. Sure looks like you can. Maybe you can't. Maybe it just looks like you can. Yeah, so you can't go up there. Never mind. I thought I found a way to go, but no.
Alright. Already been in here. Just gotta look everywhere, though. There's one more damn bird hiding. And I wanna find it. I found the buying guy. Alright, well, I definitely found a place I haven't been, so maybe that bird is down here somewhere. And then I can complete that mission. At least I found a chest, if nothing else. I thought I saw something over there. Haha, -ha, found it! Hit me, bitch. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, at least we found a little bastard. I'm definitely gonna save just in case some bullshit happens. So far, this game hasn't crashed or anything on me, but it's early access, so I never trust an early access game. Here, and I think the chef's place is right up here to the left. I could be wrong. That's where I remember it being. Aha! I remembered correctly. Good. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, no reward for my hard work? Oh, so there we go, now I know where to go after this. Ah, oh, I have to go to the command room, huh? Well, we're already getting quite enough... Quite enough footage here, so... We'll continue this in the next video. So, let's go wrap this video on up. Right, guys, that is a wrap for Frontier Hunter. Almost had a cough coming on there, but controlled it. Anyway, so all good there. It ran really, really good. And now we know, after doing the camera recorded, that it links to your monitor's refresh rate. It's one of those games, so you might as well just V-Sync that, because there's no point in turning it off. It's not going any higher than your refresh rate. But in a game like that, why would you care anyway? It seems like the kind of game that'd be totally fine at 60 FPS as long as it's not dropping like crazy. But at least the option's there. So in any case, it's time for us to move on to 1440p now. I have decided to just do 1440p. I don't want to leave the 1440p guys out. So I'm going to go get started on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.